<laughs> no. Uh, I wish I was going to go home and get some rest, but uh, uh, it's a good way to end the camp, although we're still really rolling along. Um, get a chance to get into Minnesota a little bit, you know, this week. Um, but uh, it was a, really a, 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 a fun practice. It got, uh, it got uh, pretty competitive out there, which was always fun to see, a lot of John. But at the end of the day, it was a great, great work day. We got them some, they got us some. So good way to end the camp. What do you want to see? I mean, do you want to get Russell uh, and starting start offensive? How many are you going to there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get him some reps. Again, depends on a lot of things, right? How the first series goes, second series, we don't know yet. We haven't talked about that yet. But uh, get him out there, play a very familiar opponent, a good opponent. Um, well, we played them, what, late in the year last year, so uh, they're always a great challenge going up there. But, yeah, get those guys in, and, again, it's going to be nice to hit somebody else for that group. It seems like that, right? I mean, we went from the uh, maybe the smallest or smaller crew to now we've got these huge guys out there. It's definitely different. Uh, it does change you in a lot of ways. Uh, just, you know, the, the well, I mean, the one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, like, Jazz in the game the other night, right? I mean, he's covered, you know, Paxson puts in a good spot and he's just bigger than the guy and kind of takes away from him. Uh, DK had a play today, same type of thing. Um, so we definitely look different. And then, of course, in the running game, I mean, we ask a lot of our guys. They can go down there and dig out safeties and things that they have to do. So it's uh, it's been fun. He, he talked about the confidence in throwing the receivers and Chris's hands all the guys we saw, it, you know, again, those guys have always. How good do you feel about using those guys in the passing game? Pax? Um, really, really well. I don't know if you guys saw the last play of the scrimmage, right? Rashad uh, split out wide. Russ saw an all-out blitz, kind of used the signal to get uh, him involved. And uh, what's cool to see, and I'm not, again, this is not us coaching, but we worked on that in individual. So, and they hit it, but it was cool to see things like that that they work on come to fruition where you're like, wow, when it really counts, when you're in a situation like that, they're able to make that play. So uh, Chris has been unbelievable. Rashad made a great play. We know that uh, CJ and JD and those guys, what they can do, but uh, they'll help us a bunch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, again, we'll get him, uh, get him back. He played uh, uh, really hard the other night, and uh, he can do all that stuff. Yeah, I think, you know, it is. Uh, we talk about it every day. Uh, it's still so early that it, you're crazy to try to figure it out right now. It will play itself out, uh, but there's still so many more opportunities for them to compete, for them to make plays. Uh, but it will be a very, very competitive, very difficult decision in a lot of those cases. What's Travis Homer missing right now? Go ahead. I'm sorry. What's yep. Travis Homer missing right now? How far behind is he still trying to get some You know, again, I mean, other than just reps, I mean, you know, he hasn't been able to go very, very much lately. He'll be back. Really smart, uh, great in the classroom. So it's really just the full speed reps that he's missing in pads. Uh, but we have no doubts that when he gets out there, he's going to be on top of his assignments. He'll know what to do. And uh, we think he'll pick up pretty quick when he gets back out there. Is that the biggest thing you look for a new player this to sign up as lack of? And that's, is that the key evaluation? At this point, yes, because we've been through the installs multiple times. Um, so that's one of the things that, again, you know, you find out the guys that are picking it up and not just learning the stuff you talk about, but like in these move the ball situations, I might call something from the very first day and they haven't heard it for a long time. And so the guys that can, oh yeah, I know what that is and go out and still function full speed is, is something that we look for. What do you think of Chris only having I think, one of some of the targets last week? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously that's something that we went to right after the season ended. We said, hey, look, Chris can help us win games a lot of ways. And one of the ways that he wasn't last year um, was in the passing game. So something we went into, he and Chad, the minute Chris came back, that's something they talked about. Uh, Chris was really excited about it. So again, we need to get that number up around the 50s. Would be a, would be a great situation for us. So he's still getting his yards on the ground and he's still helping us in the passing game. How good are his hands? They're very good. Uh, I'd put him up against probably anybody, uh, but it'd be a tight battle. He's shifted how running backs are used in the more the passing game. You do. Um, I think a lot of the backs that you see do that stuff, though, are smaller backs. Like you see the white kid in New England, right? He's an unbelievable athlete. Camaro's not a small back, but obviously, you know, he's a really agile guy. Um, people are understanding that, you know, getting the ball to your backs in space in the passing game is a good thing because they're, they're still as elusive as they are running the ball. So when you get them the ball out in space uh, in the passing game, it's the same problem for the defense. They got to still make those plays out in space on really good athletes. I think they're still the 
Uh, for us, for sure. Uh, I don't know if everybody looks at it that way. Uh, we certainly want to be physical first and foremost in everything we do. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been great. You know, he doesn't get a lot of reps out there all the time, uh, but when he's in there, he's always on top of his assignments. He's a great, what we call, problem solver. He can see things, and, and, and whether it's fixing a formation or helping a young back, um, or even when there's a certain front that he's got to make an adjustment on, you see the veteran savvy in Nick come out. So very physical. Uh, you can see that linebacker mentality that he has. Uh, but he's he's done a very nice job so far. Gary Jennings had a big day yesterday. Russell Wilson said it was the best day. So it was a uh, much needed for him. Did you view that the same way? Okay, so yeah, he's uh he was one of those guys that it took him a little while to kind of pick some stuff up for us. Uh, now I think he's kind of relaxed a little bit. Oh, these plays make a little bit more sense. So you see the natural speed and size and athleticism. Probably one of the best practices any receivers had all at camp yesterday. I mean, it was borderline dominant, some of the plays he made. Just, and it wasn't in one period, it was in every single period. So um, we, were, we were very pleased to see that. And again, he had a nice day today as well. What do you think of the game? Yeah, again, I mean, I think it's going to be a long haul, a long process. You know, Gino got you know, put up against, obviously, their ones, which is a little bit uh, different challenge. Uh, I thought Paxson played terrific. Uh, he was excited um, going up against his old teammate, obviously, but you know he managed the team well. Uh, some really good alerts, uh, some really good one-on-one -on -one matchups that he found. Both guys, I think, showed that they can use their legs to make plays, which is important for us because you know Russ certainly can do that. So then, you know, when the next guy goes in, you want to be able to do that as well. So both he and Gino did that. Um, but uh, Again, we'll, we'll kind of flip those guys around a little bit. Paxton's going to certainly go this week. We'll see how Gino uh, works out and uh, be another good uh, evaluation. For Paxton, can a performance like that in the game kind of carry over confidence-wise in practice? Have you seen any of that? Yeah, I think so. Again, he's a guy, uh, he followed that game up, I think it was yesterday or the first practice. He had a, another great practice. So he's putting, he's stacking pieces together. So really good game. Come back off, off a day off, really day and a half off. Has another really good practice. Uh, that's good for anybody's confidence. You know, nothing surprises me about Will. It's great to see him out there. Um, you know, we're being smart with him still, but uh, just an unbelievable competitor, great player, can do so many different things. Um, I, I literally, I, I'm more at ease when he's out there. So it's great to see him out there. Jerome Brown mentioned that he feels like in New York City, you're opening up the playbook with Will. Uh, it's always easier in year two. You can add things. You can build off of the things that you maybe did last year, whether you complement it or you protect it with other things. Um, we've just been able to go so much faster. I mean, literally, you know, from the first day they came back, we were doing things that last year we were maybe just beginning to do this time of year now. So it just shows you how far advanced we are. A lot of it's Russ is comfortable, uh, how comfortable he is. But, I mean, we're we're – light years ahead of where we were last year at this time. So it's been fun to fun to have that that way. Does that mean putting more on Russ's shoulder in terms of uh, well, Again, I mean, each game's going to be different. Uh, we really don't ever not put things on Russ's shoulders. I mean, we're going to always put the ball in his hand uh, and let him kind of drive the system. But it's just off seasons have been cut back. But the cool thing in year two is you sit down with your players and you watch the cut ups. That's powerful stuff the plays literally come to life. Like the play F shop or leopard cat comes to life and the players see it, you can critique them and coach them and it takes greater meaning. So that's what the film after year one to year two makes a big difference. Again, we always want to be balanced. I mean, again, we always want to be balanced, but we're always going to be physical in everything that we do. The run helps us set up the play pass. The play pass helps us set up the run. Can I tell you how many runs and how many passes we're gonna call in the first game? I'd love to be able to tell you that, but I don't know that right now. It's gonna come down to each game. Uh, we've obviously got a premier quarterback. We've got excellent stable of backs and a terrifically powerful offensive line. So hopefully teams have to figure us out. Jamarco obviously set out today, but what have you seen from him, you know, off-season training camp coming back, you know, from this season to the season? Yeah, great, uh, great camp. He's uh, gotten a ton of reps, ton of work. He's really a very instinctive player. He's a great technician. 
If you watch him, he's probably one of the one of our best hands players in terms of pass protection, of getting his hands on guys and stopping an inside move or things like that. Uh, you see him growing tremendously. Um, still trying to work on some strength at the point of attack, things like that. But uh, he's working his butt off. He's probably getting more reps than maybe any lineman out here. Well, George Fan is friend. Do you need to get another extra attack sniper? Is that unique? No, we have we have a couple backups that we use. Uh, you'll see Jermarco in there some, Elijah's in there some. Uh, it's just part of who we are. So there's always guys that that rep that. Um, you know, Solari and McPherson do a great job. You know, kind of sharing time and getting those guys up to speed. But uh, uh, it's part of who we are, and so we've we've always got those guys getting reps. Again, with Jermarco out today, we didn't do it. He got some work yesterday. JT Barrett, now you have, depending on what Gino's status is, Sunday, do you want to see him in a game to see how he reacts to it? Yeah, I would love to. I will say this about JT. He has picked up the offense maybe as fast as anybody. Um, tremendous, tremendous worker. I mean, we're what? We're 10, 11 installs in, and I don't think that there's not a play that he can at least begin to draw up. That's We do that a lot in the quarterback room before the little 30-minute deal we've got. We'll call a play, and they'll all go draw it. And... Uh, he, he's right there with the other three. Uh, we kind of make it fun and competitive. Uh, he doesn't maybe always win, but he draws it correctly. And uh, that means that, again, as a quarterback, you need to be able to picture the play come to life in your mind. Otherwise, how do you go out and execute your read? And uh, he's done an amazing job of picking it up. So yes, we'd love to get him some work if we could. Very natural football player, very natural. Um, you know, definitely fits more of that slot role. I mean, he's very comfortable in there. He understands how you find voids and how to get open. What I love about him is he's got great transition. So not only does he catch the ball, but he's able to catch it and come to life and get north and south. Um, so he's having a really good camp. Again, another guy that, hey, there's a lot, right? I mean, these vets get the benefit of last year. These young guys come in and they're early on, their heads want to explode. They're like, oh my gosh, this is it ever going to stop? Now it's slowed down for him. And he's another guy that you see him playing faster. Anything else? All right, guys, barbecue, right? Barbecue.